Many 3D print farms will fail this year. You have surely seen the race to the bottom happening on Etsy. Prices and profits are dropping, but not for all print farms. Some of them are thriving, but how do they do it? In this video, I'll break down the three strategies you need to know to succeed in today's market. If you can implement these, you win. I'm Jan Jan, and if you're new here, we run the 3D print farm in Switzerland. We just got featured in Slant 3D's YouTube channel and we couldn't be more proud. We started as a side hustle three years ago, which turned into a full business making 200,000 last year alone. We've doubled our revenue each year for the last three years and our mission is to support you succeed with your farm as well. Bamboo Lab entered the 3D printing market in 2022 and has disrupted the market massively. You can buy a printer for less than $200 and start printing with speed and quality. This was not possible ever before. This is great to get more people into 3D printing, but it also means that everybody can start printing parts to sell with close to zero investment costs. And this is exactly what is happening right now. Every day, new stores pop up in Etsy or at local markets, selling parts at very low prices. Sometimes even the same products from common subscriptions. So how can you compete and win in these market conditions? Strategy number one, design for uniqueness. If we look at the successful print farms, they all share one common factor, unique and innovative products. They are all creating their own products from scratch using CAD, computer added design. Yes, you can pay a subscription for $10 a month and start selling immediately, but so can others too. Therefore, you have to learn to design your own products. Print farms are exploding. The ones who can design their own products are only growing slowly. And you know what? These are the ones making profits, while the rest is racing to the bottom. That's why we created a CAD challenge to teach you how to design products specifically for 3D printing. Now, this is not one of these CAD courses that you can get online. The ones that teach you all the details you don't need to know and which you probably won't even finish. This challenge has a laser focus on designing 3D printed products to sell. It is designed as a weekly challenge and not a self-paced course, because I know you are busy running your side hustle or business. To carve out time is hard, but getting a challenge every week is much more engaging and less overwhelming. How else can we make sure that you will stay motivated throughout the course? Like in sports or education, it's all about the people. If you can discuss challenges with like-minded people in our Discord, the learning effect is multiplied. Let me show you some examples which are part of these challenges. One of them is a print in place hinge. These print without support and can be used in designing boxes, foldable designs and fixtures. By learning this design, you don't need to remove supports or assemble multiple parts. Hence, it saves time and increases your profit. The challenges come with instructions, key skills to be learned and some tips for success. After you solve the challenge, you can get a solution file and a step-by-step -step solution done by me with more tips and explanations. Another challenge is more on the decorative side. Here you can learn the skills how to design these vases you see on Thanks. Instead of paying monthly for designs, you should invest in building the skills to create your own designs. These are only two of many challenges that awaits you, which will teach you all the skills required to design even some of our bestsellers. If you are still not sure if that's something for you, go check out the free CAD challenge on our Patreon. And for the first 50 people signing up, you get a 50% discount code in the description below. After learning these core skills, strategy three will help you scale. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Strategy two is about automation. Whether you have unique products or print parts using subscriptions, efficiency will give you the competitive edge. What do I mean by that? If you can print parts with lower failure rates and less time spent, you win. This reduces your cost and you can be more profitable than the competition. Now to achieve that, you need automation. I already made two videos about how maintenance can be automated with Bamboo Lab printers. We're using automatic cold pull and lubrication in our farm and the impact has been game changing. You have to try them. Automatic printing is the next massive step. 80% of our printers are automated. That's the main reason why we can produce here in Switzerland and still be profitable. It drastically reduces labor costs and let us compete internationally. If you have seen in our how to price video, you know that labor cost is the biggest chunk in the production costs. So if we can make it work in the most expensive country in the world, then you definitely can. We are planning to release our automatic printing system this year. So subscribe to be among the first ones to know. Strategy three, outsource for scale. Let's say you learned how to design parts and found a product that sells well. Soon you will run into different bottlenecks. Even with automated maintenance and automatic printing, managing a print farm is time consuming. At fulfillment, customer support and doing paperwork, you will barely find time for the creative work. 
which is designing more and better products. If creating new products is what you love the most, you have to outsource. If you're in the US, Slant 3D can be your unlock for scaling your business. These guys run the biggest farm in the US. They can not only mass produce according to market demand, but also take over the complete fulfillment process. This will free up your valuable time and let you focus on improving your cat skills, for example. Therefore, enabling you to create better products and thrive as a business. This is crucial to survive in today's market. Before I summarize the main takeaways, let me say one thing. If you want to be successful, never stop learning and adapting. There's a Chinese saying that the best time to plant the tree was 20 years ago. And the second best time is now. And in our case, the best time for you to learn product design was maybe five years ago. But the second best time is today, which is strategy number one. By learning this skill, it puts you immediately into the top couple percent of today's print farms and guarantees your long-term success. From there, if you want to keep your production, you have to automate to have a competitive edge. If not, outsource for scale. If you have the skills to create amazing products, focus on the creative part and let Slant 3D handle the rest. And with that, until next time, 3D farmers.